Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be seeing how we can migrate our locally stored TF state file or Terraform state file to a remote S3 storage or remote backend. Uh, so in order to start with it, first of all, let as we can see, we have a VM created called Web1 and we are using uh, Terraform workspace as well. Which you can verify using Terraform workspace list command, and we are on solid SRE prod workspace. Now, what we want to do is we want to migrate this workspace and this Terraform state file to a remote S3 storage. This solution provides S3 storage, uh, they call it this solution spaces. So, what you can do is go ahead and create a DO space, and I'll just Use the New York. I'll name it do space dash df terraform. Yeah, let's just create it. Okay, the space has been created now what we need to do is in order to tell terraform to migrate this state file to our remote storage s3 storage we need to create a backend file yeah backend.tf so we need to create a backend file and also now we're here so we need to create a backend.tf file and inside it we would be adding our backend configuration i have already uh, populated the backend configuration so that it's easier so the thing that we need here is we need to say when this this tells terraform to store backend in s3 and the endpoint is this which you can get from the settings if you go to the bucket or s3 space that you created you can get the space from here reason is just it doesn't hold any significance just but you need to add it because um it is a s3 type storage which requires for looks for a reason as well just add you west one uh the key is the terraform state file name i'll just give it the same name uh, steady tf state terraform the tf state file and the bucket is the bucket name that we just created so okay now what we did is we have configured our terraform backend but in order for terraform to migrate this state file to our bucket we would need the spaces access token in order to do that go to digitalocean api and generate click generate key i would just write it access it will give me with a access key and a secret key copy this uh, let's we can pass the access key directly into here using access key and value and and secret access sorry secret key and value but it is not it not it is not a good practice to save a secret in here we will be passing it through the environment variable so let's uh, export let's set a create a environment variable using tf bar on the access of this key the reason why I add TFR is Terraform looks through all the environment variables and if it find any environment variable name with TFR then it thinks it is a variable to be used inside Terraform and then you can directly use it. So we create a TFR access key. Also a security practice is if you want don't want this to token or key to be stored in your bash history just add a space when you are creating or running any command this way it doesn't save the secrets in your history and also it gets wiped out once you close the session let's do the same for the secret key as well secret key and add a space in between now now we have create an environment that holds our access and secret key 
uh, now let's run terraform in it but in a while while running terraform in it you need to pass like since we already discussed we need to pass the access key and the secret key right but instead of passing it the adding it to the code we are passing it at runtime so we say backend config and access key you uh, we are asking terraform to pull from the environment variable and same for the secret key we are telling it to pull from the environment variable as secret key so let's run terraform in it now if you see it says initializing backend and also prompts us do you want to migrate your terraform or migrate your workspaces to s3 since we have a workspace called sided sre prod yes we want to migrate it right so just proceed saying yes now what terraform does is terraform migrates this workspace to your digitalocean space there's a digitalocean bucket or space whatever you call it, you can call it so if you go inside the bucket you can see your workspace has been migrated along with the terraform state file now if you just for test if you just run terraform in it it initializes your back initializes your backend with the s against the s3 storage at this moment you can just go ahead and delete this tf state file and just run terraform init again and you can just commit the code but to make sure these two these dot terraform and dot terraform lock are in your git ignore just add dot git ignore we make sure just making sure these two files are not committed that's it we have migrated our terraform state file from local storage and ask now from now on whenever you run any terraform command it will it will check your state against this remote stored stairs like remote stored states state file sorry just for fun uh suppose you want to you, you don't want to stay store your state file here and you want to store it in terraform cloud so how would you, how how would you do that so the way you could do that is you go to terraform cloud and create an organization pause the video and sign up for terraform cloud it's free once you sign up it will ask you to create an organization just create any organization name now we would we want to migrate this workspace we want to migrate this workspace to terraform cloud so how are we going to do it is we go in here and create a, a cli driven workflow and keep the same workspace name and description i'll just keep add the same description once that is created it will terraform will ask you to do a login so that terraform your terraform code can communicate with terraform cloud app.terraform.io so go ahead and do a terraform login now what it says is you need an api key to communicate with terraform uh, it says do you want to proceed when you say yes it will open a page for you to create a, a access token and just create click create api token copy this and paste the token you just copied in here now what would happen is terraform is authenticated against terraform cloud so in order to migrate the migrate the sorry in order to migrate the states from here to terraform cloud you would instead you would copy this bit block of code and instead of this remote s3 backend you would paste the code we just copied verify the organization name and the workspace name yep everything looks fine now just to migrate you just do terraform in it and now if you see previously it was saying initializing against backend now it says initializing against terraform cloud and also it says migrating your states from 
S3 to Terraform Cloud. It has detected there is a workspace present and it says you can do it all together using tags but for now we just want to migrate one one workspace so we just we'll just proceed so once you click s it will migrate your state file from this lotion state this lotion s3 block storage to, sorry s3 storage to terraform cloud you go to states you can see your state file has been added here and as we had already created a vm uh, it also shows you have a resource that is a web vm so at this point you can just go ahead and delete this digitalocean space and it doesn't now it doesn't have any significance because from now on terraform would would check your state against terraform cloud state stories so terraform cloud is you can verify it once more using terraform in it so it is an initializing against terraform cloud which is good we have a vm it should initialize successfully okay everything looks fine so one thing that we need to be we need to know is whenever you migrate your state files from s3 or local storage to Terraform. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention one thing. You could do the same thing from directly from local storage to Terraform Cloud. You don't have to like this is there is not a process. It's just a matter of choice whether you want to store your state file in S3 storage or or a Terraform Cloud. So if you do a Terraform plan, Terraform plan, like when you migrate your states to terraform cloud by default local execution is disabled so in order to enable it you just go to your workspace setting general and set the execution mode to local save it now if you run terraform plan you should be able to execute the plan yeah it says no changes to the infrastructure let's go ahead and delete this resource just for fun do a terraform plan it should say okay one resource needs to be deleted okay another good thing about terraform is terraform using terraform cloud is you can set it to acquire locks uh, acquire, acquiring lock means no two people can make changes to your infrastructure at the same time which is a really nice feature if you had been using aws you could have done the same thing using dynamo db as a backend to, uh, to in the backend s3 backend to acquire state locks but terraform cloud provides it provides you with this feature out of the box so let's apply Once this change has been applied, you can go to your workspace and states and see. Uh, once this is applied, you will see a new state has been modified. A new version of state has been modified, which if I reload should be, it is still destroying. Okay, let's let me see let me speed up the video okay the resource has been destroyed now if i go to terraform cloud and do a quick reload okay new version of state file has been maintained and if you open it we change was we destroyed the infrastructure which again which terraform updated the state file so this is how you can uh, manage your state file using different location you can manage your state file locally which is not recommended don't do it uh, either you can store your state file in s3 type storage which is DigitalOcean or s3 bucket aws s3 bucket or you can store you can use terraform cloud terraform cloud is free so that's all for today. I hope everybody learned something. If you like the video, please subscribe and comment down below 
how you manage your Terraform state files. Uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.